My name is Parker Cannon, and I'm going to show you how to use basic quadratic formulas. So, the two easiest quadratic formulas I think are factoring and quadratic formula. So, for factoring, we're going to take an equation. We're going to take x squared minus 8x plus 7. So, for factoring, the key is cross multiplying. So, you want to set up two parentheses. Alright? So, your first step is to write your x's. Your x's go on the left side. When these two cross multiply together, they make x squared. That's okay. So now we're going to try take, taking the, all, the right number and trying to add up to the middle number. So you have to write 7 and 1 because 7 times 1 equals 7, obviously. So now you've got to add up to negative 8. So the key is a negative times a negative equals a positive. So you have to have two negatives. These, when these two negatives multiply, they add to a positive 7. But with negative 7x and negative 1x, they add to negative 8. So now you have your two equations that have been, that have been broken down from this one equation. So now you don't have your x variables. You have x equals 7 and x equals 1. These are your two formulas. Thankfully, I have a very easy equation. If this equation doesn't work, or even the factory method doesn't work, or any other method, you want to use quadratic equation. Negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So let's try this one as well. So this is the basic method you have to follow, ax squared plus bx plus c. So your first number is your a, your second number is your b, and your third number is c. So you have a, b, c. You have 1, negative 8, and 7. So you have to set up the equation. So you have negative b, which would be 8, plus or minus the square root of 8 squared, which is 64, minus 4, parentheses, 1 and 7. This all adds up to 28, so 64 minus 28 equals 36. So it's going to be 8 plus or minus the square root of 36 all over 2, because your a is 1, so 2 times 1 is 2. So the square root of that is 6, so now you have 8 plus or minus 6 all over 2, and this can be broken up to 8 plus 6 over 2, and 8 plus 6, or minus 6, all over 2. So this equals 14 over 2, which equals 7, and this equals 1. So now you have proven that you got 7 and 1 for your factoring and 7 and 1 for your quadratic formula. So your x variable can either be 7 or 1. My name is Park Finn, and this is how you do factoring and quadratic formula.